Tell me now about Bilawal. What he did when he came to Goa. How he comes in there and he tries to be this suave foreign minister. Did India underestimate him? Will See, not? he came with an agenda. I don't think so. In the Indian media, didn't understand or didn't assess what his agenda was. All his messaging was back to Pakistan, and I think the message that he was sending was specially to Rahul Pindi, to the GHQ. I just want to make one thing about Bilawal. The most dangerous statement that he made when he told the Pak journalist in Goa, somebody asked him about G20. He said, "Of course, we oppose G20 in Sri Nagar. At the time when it is being taken place, we'll teach them such a lesson." वक्त आने That, पर ऐसा जवाब देंगे जो याद रहेगा. याद रहेगा. Now this was the mask totally slipped. All this while he was telling, "We are doing getting rid of terrorism because of our sake, not because of India and all that." And this is what he actually feels. The MoFA, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Pakistan has tried to deny it and soft pedal it, but they cannot get over the fact that he said. At the appropriate time, we will teach them such a lesson they will not forget. This so is an open thing for terrorism. If, God forbid, any attack happens, can you turn around and say that the political establishment didn't know this was the military establishment no, which In conducted? In this case, it is clear. So you scratch them a little bit. Each and every one of them, you cannot say deniability. They are so there. So you know, for the Bhuttos, it is especially true. You know why? They carry. the curse of lucky bhai because us, his huh? uh, his grandfather bhutto's father shanawas he married and fell in love uh, which bhutto you need to explain now shanawas bhutto the who was zulfikar uh, ali bhutto's father, father. Hmm. he fell in love with a uh, hindu dancing girl uh, lucky bhai and married her way back in 1924 i think it was then converted her to islam and she took the name of khurshid because she came from a humble background and these were big feudal so she was Badly treated. So Zulfikar's uh, mother. mother was yeah. a Hindu. Yeah. Okay. And born a Hindu. Born a Hindu, then she was converted. In the feudal family, they looked down upon her and didn't treat her well. So when Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was growing up, he was aware of this, his mother being mistreated, and he had a huge complex that because she was a Hindu, therefore to cover his Hindu origins, partial Hindu origins, he became vehemently anti-India. You know when um, A.Q. Khan uh, said that he will ca- come back to Pakistan and help building the bond, uh, this thing, he took a bang the table. He said, "Now we'll show these Hindu bastards." Sorry to use that. Right. Similarly with Benazir, same thing is with Bilawal. You know they are insecure about the Hindu blood in them, and therefore they have to be even more anti-India. Weaponizing Remember. terrorism. Mm-hmm. Explain to me what that term means. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out myself. Yeah. I think the, Dr. Jay Shankar handled the reply very well on that. Uh-huh. Then he talks about uh, the BJP treats every Muslim as a terrorist. Are you? What are you saying? You know, on, on what basis so are you saying this? This is the easiest thing to do is to blame a person to be Islamophobic. Two places where he slipped up. He said the PPP's policy is always to have good relations with India. Is he the foreign minister of the PPP or is he the foreign minister of Pakistan? Then he said. My mother was a victim of terrorism. All along the line has been that the Musharraf who got her killed. It was an assassination, not a terrorist attack. This is in the interview that he said that my mother was a victim of terrorism. Yeah, that you know when I sit before the people, this whole Islamophobia thing, uh, that all Muslims are terrorists, all falls flat because I am not only in the case of Pakistan, not only the victim, I am a personal victim. Basically, he is monetizing his mother's death, politically monetizing it. But, but using let's, terrorist- let's put it. As darkly as that, you know, when he says that somebody else is trying to politicize terrorism, what did he, what was the term? Weaponization. Weaponize. Weaponize. What he is doing is monetizing terrorism for his political purpose. Interesting. By saying that my mother is, you know, has has sacrificed her life, his mother was the person who created the Taliban. They came under her watch. Hmm. His mother is the person who was in the seat of power. when all hell broke loose in kashmir and over 100000 people died subsequently right in that terrorism and people are still dying so all that blood is on on his mother's hands and now on his hand click here to watch the full episode